Here is an insight to MVP's refurbishment to order process. Step one, staging. When an order is confirmed, the salesperson sends a work order that lists the customer's desired configuration to the operations coordinator to have the unit pulled and re-audited for functionality of parts before disassembly. Once staging is complete, the unit moves on to disassembly. The unit is completely and carefully disassembled of all parts, bracketry, and harnesses for cleaning and refurbishment. Once finished, components are separated between two pallets, one for parts refurbishment and the other for paint and body. After disassembly is complete, all of our parts go through a cleaning and refurbishment process. Our dispenser refurbishment process starts with the initial testing of the dispenser Next, we clean all metal components of the dispenser and replace all belts, gears, and pick line assemblies. Then, we run it through a final test before reinstalling it into the painted vault. Our SDM refurbishment process starts with initial testing, confirming that there are no sub-modules functioning improperly. Then we clean all belts or replace them while also replacing the retardant cartridge and ribbon assembly. We perform a final test of the SDM before reinstalling it into the painted vault. A parts list is provided to inventory control for parts needed for replacement or reconfiguration after parts are tested during staging. Parts are gathered from our secured storage, which is where we house our already clean refurbished parts stock and our new parts stock. All refurbished units are installed with PCI compliant EPP keypads, EMV compliant card readers, and an in-house built Windows 10 compliant Astoral processor. Here's a closer look at our paint and body procedure. First, our paint and body techs secure the vault to the pallet using a pedestal for this model. Then the vault and body panels are sanded to remove the old layer of top coat and primered anywhere imperfections are found. Primered spots are then re-sanded and the vault and panels receive a final wipe down to remove dust before being sprayed with its final coat. The tech sprays a polyurethane paint that matches the manufacturer's color and strips that the tech overlaps 50% to reach the perfect coat. The tech sprays two coats for maximum coverage. While the body components are drying, they work on the customer fascia and collar assembly, performing body work if there are any imperfections, and removing all old decals. Once the body filler is dry, they are sanded and primered. After the primer is dry, the collar and fascia are pulled into the booth and sprayed with a base coat. Lastly, they are given a clear coat with a light metallic flake to closely match the manufacturer's original color. Before beginning reassembly, the tech confirms he has all parts assigned for that unit. The unit is reassembled starting with the harnesses and bracketry, then the rebuilding of the fascia assembly before hanging it on the whole unit, and lastly the dispenser and depository are installed into the vault. Once the tech has the entire unit reassembled, he or she performs testing to confirm no troubleshooting is needed before the unit moves on to final assessment. The unit is then given to the initial final assessor, who performs confidence tests on all components of the ATM and notes if there are any issues with the quality or functionality of the product.
Once the initial assessor has completed their assessment, the final assessor walks through the same assessment, confirming that the MVP standards of functionality and quality are met. This assessor also installs all consumable parts noted in the work order and gives the unit a final wipe down before taking pictures. Detailed pictures are taken of the unit for the salesperson to look through and share with their customer. If there are any issues noted by the salesperson, it is brought to the final assessor's attention and fixed immediately. Upon picture approval from the salesperson, the unit is packaged for shipment. The collar assembly is wrapped in foam and secured under the sleeve. Then, the whole unit is packaged in foam wrap, then bubble wrap, and then secured tightly with plastic wrap. A protective box is secured to the pallet with the sales order number, serial number, and a tip and tell device which provides proof to the customer that the product did not topple during shipment. This concludes our MVP refurbished to order process. Thank you.